are outside on a very busy Sydney, Australia morning. And I wanted to show you the front window, which is beautifully done, at a company called Morrison Sons. And there's this, the sign that says Tapestry Craft. Believe it or not though, they have a ton of yarn inside. Let's go ahead and take a look. Inside we're greeted with some beautiful knit pieces and a big sign telling us that Morris and Sons is downstairs as far as the yarn goes. But let's just look around real quick. Um, the, the original um, business used to be Needlecraft. And then sometime recently they decided to expand their business into, into um, yarn. And I think it's been a very good decision for them, and they've done very well. I think it's a very cool idea, though, that you can walk into a yarn store and you can still buy fabric for maybe finishing your your crafts. And however, let me just wanted to show you how how much fabric they have here. Beautiful, beautiful fabric, and lots of floss there. And there's some framing in the back, and you can even buy upholstery here, upholstery material, lots of cross stitch. Lots and lots of good supplies. Let's go ahead and go back downstairs. This is Guy, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the store. Yeah, so um, uh, it's family owned. Morris is the, is the family that owns it, and uh, uh -huh. they've been working in Needlecraft and, and they've had stores for decades. We've got one location here, we've got another one in Newtown. And tell us the name of that one. That one's called the Granny Square. The Granny Square. I, I yeah. may actually stop by that one you on should. the way back. Is it, is it different than this store? It's much smaller, it's much more intimate, it kind of has a boutique vibe. Okay. Um, but they stock a lot of the same stuff. Like we have our own Morris and Sons brand yarn uh -huh. and they stock that as well. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you. <laughs> That's all right. Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBabeCrochet.com and today I am at a store called Morrison Sons. This is just three to four blocks away from my hotel in downtown Sydney, Australia. So if you ever get to the area, they're on York Street, go ahead and look them up. But I just wanted to kind of roam a bit and just show you some of the things that I'm finding here. Um, this is, I think, a larger kind of an operation, more on the long of lines of, let's say, maybe Lion Brand in the States. If any of you are familiar with that, they kind of have their own line of yarn and everything. And I've actually been able to look through some of it, and they've got quite a variety, quite a uh, variety of prices. So let's go ahead and take a look. They do have their own label on quite a bit um, of the yarn that I'm finding in the store. Now, some of it is not necessarily made here. Um, this is actually made in Peru. Um, still you know very good price um, but then they do have some of their their own this is um, let's see this is some of their wool and this is hundred percent Australian wool so this would be more authentic um, to the area it's a, it's a very um, thick kind of a worsted weight feel to it and they have colors that are just just lovely all sorts of colors of the rainbow here and let's, I wanted to show you some other yarn that I found here just the other day. Okay, whereas the Australian wool is, is um, actually the most economical, I think, that they carry here. Um, and it, it feels nice, but it does definitely have that wooly, um, not terribly soft kind of texture. But now if you go over here, this is what I'm told is, is the glory of their, of their shop here, is their, their empire. This is 100% um, Australian Superfine Merino and um, uh, the lady that works here, Amanda, showed me some of this the other day and I ended up taking home quite a bit of it for a project in the future. Um, this stuff feels amazing. Um, so anyway, just wanted to put that back and just show you that it comes in a quite a variety of colors. I love the way the store is organized. It's, it's very color centric and lots and lots of extra down there should you not find what you're looking for on the shelf they also have a lot of other brands that you might be familiar with they have a lot of german brand yarn here some of which i haven't seen 
Um, they also have a really wide selection of cotton yarns. Now, these are not milled in Australia. These are mostly done, I believe, in Peru and other places, but it looks like a, to be a really good value if you're looking for just, uh, you know, cotton. Now, this over here, has, I found some beautiful alpaca. Again, this is not Australian alpaca, um, but, but nonetheless, very nice. It's baby alpaca. Uh, 50 gram balls are, let me see if I can get that price for you, are $11, so that's in Australian dollars. Um, <clears throat> currently, thankfully, for me, the Australian, uh, or rather the U.S. dollar is rather strong right now, so for every um, Australian dollar, it only cost me about 70 American cents. So I am going to be doing a lot of yarn shopping, as you can imagine. There's something interesting I found here. This is a very nice texture to it. 80% bamboo, 20% merino yarn. And for those of you who know anything about bamboo, it, it tends to be kind of a stretchy yarn. It doesn't bounce back like the wool. So by adding that 20% merino, it's going to give it a little bit of stability. And it's, it's still very, very soft. Um, you can see the price here, 50 grams is $11.50 in uh, Australian dollars there. So if you multiply that times 0 0.70, you will get the conversion rate currently as I'm making this video. Of course, you know that exchange rate changes quite a bit. What's really nice is that it does come in in some very lovely colors. And over here we have something called Estate. Let's go ahead and take a look and a feel. And this is 100% Australian wool. And this looks to be like a number two or maybe even a fingering weight yarn. Let's go ahead and look at the stats on this yarn. It's always hard to find. Find Okay, 200 meters. Okay, we are in the state, so you have to convert that to yards. It's going to be a lot more than 200 yards. So. Yeah, that seems to be a pretty good deal. It's um, $6.45 for a ball of yarn, so that's going to be um, around 4 bucks in American dollars. So that's not bad. They do have a back section here, which features the Rowan books and lots and lots of their wool. This is probably things that you could probably get in the States or maybe in, in your country if you're viewing this from you know other places. Here's some things that attracted my attention early on, is this Kid Silk blend. It's called you know, Kid Silk Haze. It's, it's a little on the pricier side, it's $17.90 a ball for 25 grams, so because of the lace weight you're going to get a lot more yardage out of that. But it, it feels pretty amazing and I imagine when you crochet it or knit it, it probably knits up or crochets up like cotton candy and really has a divine texture to it. Look at all the colors that it comes in. Also found something here called Summer Light by Rowan. It's um, an Egyptian cotton. It feels very nice, but you know, honestly, I think this stuff that they had over there with their own label seemed really really nice and, and had a nice you know silkiness to it here's another type of yarn which one is this cotton glaze okay that looks nice but you know i think just just being a shopper that i am i think i would go for their their name brand stuff the morrison sound stuff because i really think that it just has you know, a very nice feel to it and very good. Here's some more of their Empire brand. This is the Morrison Sons label. And it just has the same really nice high quality feel that I showed you earlier. I think what I was showing you before was the DK and the worsted weight. This is more the fingering weight. And it comes in just as many beautiful colors. I'm going to show you that. It just has you know the thinner feel, which is a really good kind of yarn to use for scarves and um, neck scarves and different things like that. Here's something else um, sold by a German company. Let me show you some of these colors. These are sock yarns and these sock yarns specifically are designed so that you end up with two socks that look exactly alike and the way they do that is they start and end with these um, yellow strands to show you where exactly you need to start in order to get two socks 
that are a perfect match. And of course the name is, is perfect. A little play on words there, which is kind of clever. So I wanted to show you some of the colors and then show you some of the some of the socks. I know some of you are knitters and crocheters and might really enjoy. Look at these beautiful socks that you can make with only one ball. Okay. And let's look at the price on these. Looks like it's $19.90. Again, this is in Australian dollars. It would be less in American dollars. And for the these others with the yellow string, $24 a ball. I want to show you this yarn down here. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, in all honesty, it doesn't feel that great. This is more the rustic kind of yarn. You can, I guess, use for rugs or things that, you know, do not come in contact with the skin. It, it feels, uh, uh, yeah, not, not very refined, but, but again, it's beautifully dyed and, you know, for things that don't come in contact with the skin, it'd be perfect. They have lots and lots of things here. They have a big sellout, looks like, on Debbie Bliss and Noro pattern books. So if you happen to be here, you could really load up on these things. Well, that's about it here from Morrison Sons. It's great to share with you all. Hope that gives you a little more perspective of, you know, some of the stuff you can find when you travel. Anyway, God bless. Bye-bye.